coming up tonight on The Spot. The gang is live at the Sony Metreon, counting down to midnight for the U.S. launch of the PSP. Amidst the hundreds of eager fans waiting in line to buy a PSP, we'll run down the entire list of the system's launch titles, and GameSpot editors will be on hand to play live demos with some of the lucky gamers. We'll hear from some special guests, plus we'll be giving away plenty of PSP games and some SanDisk Pro Duo memory sticks. We're up way past our bedtimes on this very special episode of On The Spot. <laughs> I got my man Rich Gal standing by outside. We got a little action happening here right now. Check out all these people over here. All these folks are the employees here at the PlayStation Store. They're getting geared up for 12 o'clock when they open the doors and start selling PSPs to everybody waiting outside. Speaking of which, Rich, what do you got going on outside? Yo, Ryan, what's going on, man? I'm standing outside right now. You see the big clock right there? We got 31 minutes, 50 seconds until the PSP launches right here on the West Coast. What I got in my hand, it's a PSP. And who's over here on my left is my man Richard. Richard. How you doing, sir? What's up? I'm doing fine. I'm a little tired, but I'm, I'm making it. Richard is our first man in line. How long have you been here? 41 hours and 30 minutes. But who's counting, really, huh? Yeah. Now you're from the area? Yeah, I'm from San Francisco. All right, cool. So you don't have to come for anything. Now, as you notice right now, I have in my hand a PSP loaded up right now as Ridge Racers. We have a news story on the site right now featuring you and your homeboy over there saying how long you've been here, and you're saying you're looking for one game to play. And that game was Ridge Racers, right? Correct, correct. Yo, take that on my hands right now, my man. On my left right now, we got Brian Eckberg, sports editor for GameSpot. Brian, how you doing? I'm doing great, guys. Happy to be here. Craziness, hundreds of people in line right now. We're going to get Brian against Richard in a game of Ridge Racers. While we got that going on, Ryan, what you got going on back where you are? I got a bunch of questions from people that are GameSpot Complete members, which if you are a GameSpot Complete member and you're watching, use the form on the page where you're watching this. Send us questions. We got a whole bunch of them right here waiting for you. But to get most of the answers out of the way, we're going to go ahead and roll a segment that's going to teach you all about the nuts and bolts of the PSP. So let's go ahead, without further ado, and roll that segment. The Sony PSP is a complete handheld entertainment system that can play games, music, and movies. The PSP features built-in stereo speakers, a high-resolution 4.3-inch TFT display, and can produce close to PlayStation 2 level graphics. The unit also has built-in Wi-Fi networking capability, and it supports the Memory Stick Pro Duo as well as the new Universal Media Disc. In short, on March 24th, the world of handheld gaming and personal entertainment will never be the same again. Let's take a closer look inside the box. At launch, Sony will have one package available that will retail for $249, which will include the PSP unit, a 32-bit Memory Stick Pro Duo, headphones with remote control, lithium-ion battery pack, AC adapter, soft case, and cleaning cloth and a UMD demo disc that contains sample movies, music, and video game footage. In the games department, nearly two dozen games will be available at launch, including games of all types such as sports, puzzle, action, and more. One of the best things about the PSP is its multiplayer capabilities, since it allows up to 16 opponents to compete against each other using its built-in Wi-Fi action. The Wi-Fi will work up to 30 meters away, even with walls and other obstacles in between you and the other players. What's more, some games like Twisted Metal Head On will allow players to use a wireless access point to take their PSP multiplayer action online and battle against other PSP players on the internet. While there's no question that the PSP has been designed as a game machine first and foremost, the PSP does more than a sufficient job when it comes to playing music and movies. Like any good portable device these days, the PSP has the capability to hook up directly to your PC using a mini USB cable that allows you to drop MP3s or videos onto your PSP. The amount of video and music you can fit on your PSP varies depending on the size of the Memory Stick Pro Duo you have in your PSP at the time. Currently, Sony and SanDisk both have Memory Stick Pro Duo devices that range from 32 megabits on the low end all the way to the recently announced 2 gigabyte sticks. Once there, you can use the PSP to play your files like any MP3 or video player. In addition, you can also load pictures taken from a digital camera onto your PSP, making it the new way to show pictures to friends and family. While those are a brief look at the current capabilities of Sony's new gadget, there's no telling what the PSP may do in the future since Sony has alluded to plans on firmware updates and peripherals that may make it possible to browse the web, send an email, or even make a phone call from your PSP. If you want to know more, check out GameSpot.com's PSP section for all the latest details including a full list of launch games and specs. Well, that was a look at the nuts and bolts of the PSP. I have my man Jack, Jack Trenton standing here. How are you doing, Jack? Very good. Why don't you tell the folks at home who you are and what you do? Uh, Executive Vice President of Sony Computer Entertainment, so I've got the privilege of uh, managing our sales and our product development here. That's awesome. Now, we're here, we got a bunch of questions rolling in from the GameSpot viewers. I got one right here, if you don't mind me asking it. 
Absolutely, I'll do my All best. All right, let's see what we got. We got a question here from Chris Reed, Seattle, Washington. He wants to know, whatever happened to the PSP GPS receiver that was on display behind the bulletproof glass at E3 last year? Well, good for him for getting into E3, but obviously that's an event where we want to try to show to the media and to the industry kind of the promise of the future. And I don't know if uh, he's old enough to remember the guy flying around on the jetpacks and the uh, uh, the World's <laughs> Fair videos, but this is not something that's fantasy. It's something you'll see as reality in the near future, just uh, not in the launch window. That's awesome. You guys had all kinds of cool stuff on display, like a keyboard and all kinds of fun stuff that kind of showed off the capabilities and possibilities of the PSP, right? Exactly. This thing's going to change a ton in the next 10 years, but I'm pretty excited about what it represents right now. And, and speaking of right now, what's going to happen at 12 o'clock? You're going to be the gentleman that gets to sell the first one, right? Well, this is the calm before the storm. This is as quiet as this store will be for a long time to come. And I'm really excited about anybody that supports our product line, but I'm most excited to meet a guy who spends 40 hours sleeping out to get a PSP. He deserves <laughs> some prompt attention. Absolutely. Speaking of, uh, of attention, GameSpot, you know, the PSP prompted us that it has its own, you know, it uses the MPEG-4 media format. On GameSpot, we had currently only had MPEG and QuickTime. This is news for all the folks that are watching right now because it was a little surprise for, for all our, our audience today. Uh, we actually are offering all of our video reviews, video previews, on the spot, all the video features that we do in the PSP format ready to go so they can download it right from the site, dump it on their memory stick pro duo, and then watch it on their PSP on the go. What do you think about that? I think that's awesome. I got my PSP in my pocket, so I'll be catching up myself. Right on. You can watch this very show tomorrow on your PSP. All right. That's great. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. We'll, we'll be out there catching you hopefully uh, selling the first PSP in a little bit. My pleasure. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. All right, Rich, what do you got going on outside? I'm still rolling. <laughs> Ryan, your timing is perfect. The race just finished. Brian, who won? Uh, not me. Richard, congratulations. Is your first time getting hands on a PSP? Uh, not really. I, they let me try it out earlier today, but first time I ever played Ridge Racers for it. Congratulations, man. You just won yourself a very own copy of Ridge Racers. Congratulations. I want the PSP back, though. Brian. Good job, man. Good job. Thanks a lot. Enjoy. You got 30 minutes left. You soon you get your own PSP. You can play that game, all right? All right, cool. I want to know who's number three in line. I know you're with him. Who's number three? Stand on up here. What's your name, sir? Mike, how long you been standing here? The first section means 1 through 26. Almost 30 hours. 30 hours, Mike. Are you from the area? Yeah. Is that a giant hat you're rocking right now? Oh, yeah. How about that Barry Bonds thing, huh? Uh, who cares? We're here to talk about the PSP. Forget Barry Bonds. Now I'm going to award you. You're number three in line. You just saw your man Richard win a game, right? Yeah. I got some other stuff. I got a whole bag of stuff right there. You right now, I got courtesy of SanDisk, a 128 megabyte memory stick right there, huh? It's all yours, man. Congratulations. Hey, you got any plans for this? So wait, you going to be doing anything crazy? Uh, probably stay up all night playing games. That's the way to do it. What are you going to get first, you know? Uh, probably uh, Need for Speed Underground. Now, Ryan was just talking about, I know you didn't hear him because we're not here. GameSpot Live right now uh -huh. has kicked out all kinds of movies that can fit on this very memory stick. Tomorrow, you can log on to GameSpot, find this very show, download it on your PSP and play it using this memory stick. Awesome. That is completely awesome. Congratulations, man. Yeah, Enjoy the wait. Thanks. Ryan, we got some trivia or something. We got, I know we got games to give away to people at home. Can you hook us up? Absolutely, Rich. I'll start giving away stuff right now. If we want to pan the camera over this way, I'll show you my little stack of stuff. I got some, uh, I got some Memory Stick Pro Duos to give away, 256, 512. I got some Dynasty Warriors. I got some Ridge Racers. I got some Spider-Man 2. I think I got a thug in there. So I'm going to go ahead and give one away right now. If you can tell me who are the two stars of Tony Hawk Underground 2 Remix, if you guys can tell me what that is, who those two guys are, it, it, the first person that does it on the GameSpot Complete page, for the On The Spot page, if you guys go ahead and put that stuff right in there with your full name and mailing address, we're going to get those shipped out to you. The first, the first people that get us those two names are the stars of Thug 2 Remix for the PSP. Boom. We're going to get you out some Thug 2. Uh, right now, we're gonna, we just talked to Jack Trenton, which is actually a surprise. We we're going to talk to somebody else. We had actually caught up with Jack several hours ago. He was talking about some of the future possibilities of the PSP as well as the current stuff. Let's go ahead and hear what Jack had to say earlier this evening. I can tell you that all my energies are devoted to uh, this initial this initial PSP launch and the million units we have going out the door and the software support we have for it and I'm just so over the moon excited with the fact that we've got 24 launch titles that eight of them are first party that we sold in over a million and a quarter just on our software titles alone so 
Selfishly, I don't feel we need a lot of those applications right away, um, and I don't think it's going to be necessary to sell them, but I do believe they'll come. I think what you'll, what you'll start to see, though, very quickly from consumers when they take the device home, and I've done this myself, you start to download things to your memory stick, you put some music on there, you put some digital pictures on there, you put some video content on there, and you start to do it in kind of a home application first, and then, um, you know, in terms of rolling out a full-fledged music download capability, um, and coming up with a device that's more catered to that, um, that's you know something that, as Tatani san mentioned, is in the future as opposed to the, the present. I, I think near future could certainly mean within the calendar year. Uh, in terms of titles in development, I know of 23 beyond the first 24, which takes us up to 47. And I can tell you that you know I'm focused on titles that we'll be offering from a first party standpoint, and we'll have equal or greater number of titles for the back half as we had in the launch window. So you'll see 15 to 20 from first party alone. Well, uh, I can tell you that um, we'd like to bring one of the first RPG games to it, but if you look at the offerings that are out there on day one, as you said, sports is well addressed, but I think racing's addressed, graphic adventure, um, fighting. Um, so uh, I think there's a pretty wide representation out there right now, and I think that'll continue to expand. And I would look to the PlayStation 2 library in terms of the genres that are represented. Uh, and I would say if you compare the ramp up in the first uh, six months of uh, PS2 to the ramp up on PSP, it'll, it'll be probably three times the pace in terms of not only number of titles, but also expansion of genres. So I think it'll be pretty broad pretty quick, but I already think it's pretty extensive. Well, I, I think the UMD will be successful because of the content that's on it. I think the media device is important in terms of, you know, what's the, the memory capacity, what, what are the technical specs of it in terms of bringing content on it. But if there's compelling content, then people will put content on that. And I think, you know, it's going to be a chicken and egg thing. We put a lot of hardware out there because it's got great software support on UMD, so the hardware is successful. The hardware is successful, so other forms of media become interested uh, in being part of the uh, PSP success and then movie content comes over. So um, I think it's one of those things where you create a format that has the ability to put great software on it. People put great software on it. The format's successful. The, uh, the media is successful. And uh, uh, that's the least of my concerns. I'm not at all concerned that UMD will be a success. That was my man Jack Trenton talking all kinds of PSP stuff, some interesting stuff there. I think I got Rich standing by outside with some action. Hey, Rich, you there? Can you hear me? Hell yeah, Ryan. I'm over here right now with the other end of the line. What numbers are we looking at right now? How's everyone doing right now? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Now, you seem particularly hardcore right now because I'm noticing you got your foot up over the railing right now. What's going on right here? I broke my leg. Both, both bones. Just a couple moments ago right here in line you broke your leg? No, not in line, but... Right, right. I'm sorry, what's your name? Darcy. Darcy, I have him in my hand right now. It is a PSP. Right now it's playing a little game called Luminous. Over on my left we got GameSpot executive editor Greg Kasavin who reviewed this very game. I want you to play against him in a game of Luminous. Is that okay? <laughs> sure. All right, now don't drop it, don't break it, or, or we're gonna, yeah, we all have to buy two of them, so one for us, all right? All right, cool. We're going to walk you through in just a second, all right. and Greg will play against you, okay? Now, just a few moments ago, we played Ridge Racers with our man Richard, who was number one in line. I want to give away a copy of Ridge Racers to the people watching at home right now. Tell me, who won the race between Brian and Richard? Put that in your GameSpot complete form right now with your full name and mailing address, and we'll send you a copy of Ridge Racers. Greg, you all set to get this game going? All right, cool. Greg's going to get this game started. Ryan, what you got going on? I got my man Tim Surrett standing by here. Hey, you doing, Tim? Good, very well. For those of you at home that don't know, Tim Surrett is the newest member of the GS News team. Is that right? I'm the best as well. So, uh, <laughs> so, so that, that's definitely true. So, speaking of the best, how does this stack up in terms of news? Is this is this crazy or what? It's pretty big down here. I was talking to the guy first in line. He's been here for 43 hours, camped out in the rain last night. I don't know if anyone's in from San Francisco, but it was torrential last night. Guys, nuts. <laughs> Speaking of crazy people, we got a bunch of GameSpot Complete members at home sending in tons of questions. I'm looking at one from Chris in Wisconsin. He wants to know, is the uh, 32 meg that comes with the PSP in the box big enough for save games and game-related data? I want to spend 150 bucks on a SanDisk card if it's not needed. What do you think? Have you been playing with the PSP a whole lot? I know I have. I haven't gotten a chance much, but... 32 megs. It's a lot of stuff. It's good enough for save games, my man. Oh, totally. I mean, I can tell you for, from... from Positive use throughout the last couple months since December 18th when I got mine in Japan. Uh, yeah, that 32 meg that comes with it, plenty, plenty big for save games. So definitely check that out. Right now, you got a copy of Spider-Man 2 in your hand, don't you? 
Right here, my man. So I'm going to give away Spider-Man 2 copies to the first people, first GameSpot Complete members that are looking at the On The Spot page right now. Go ahead and put your full name and mailing address and tell me who the bad guy in Spider-Man 2 was. It doesn't get any easier than that. Tell me who the bad guy in Spider-Man 2 is, and I'm going to send you one of these games, all right? At least the first people that, that sign up, the ones we have games for. Isn't that right? That's right, man. Excellent. I'm going to throw it back to my man Rich outside real quick. Hey, Rich, you ready? All right, we're still over here, Ryan, with Darcy and Greg playing Luminous. Darcy, I know you just got to start it. What do you think of it so far? It's cool. It's very cool. Would you like to say, own your very own copy of it? Hell yeah. Here you go. <laughs> I'm going to take, take the PSP back. Now, don't hobble off yet because your game's in here. I got to pop it out for you. The last guy took off before I did that for him. Okay. But congratulations from GameSpot. Thank you. Enjoy your PSP. Now, I know, my man, you've been hanging over here. What are you thinking right now about the PSP? You ready for this? Oh, dude, I'm ready. I was waiting months and months. I've been watching all the footage from E3, CES, everything. I'm waiting for this thing to come down. Uh, it's great. I think they're moving to your line right now, so you guys get out of here. We'll give you this game before you go. Greg, thanks a lot, my man. We're going to talk to you in just a second about the PSP. Ryan, it's all kinds of crazy right now. I'm going to give another way, away another game, though. Everyone watching at home, tell me, who created Luminous? Fill it out. Game spot complete form. Mail in your full mailing address. I'll give you away a copy of you when I get back to the studio tomorrow. All right? Cool. Ryan, what's up? All right. Well, it's starting to get packed in here, as you can see behind me. I don't know if you can catch all these guys with the cameras and news crews and stuff. People are getting ready. We're getting closer to midnight. They want to be here just like we are. Getting the first the first sale of the PSP here in the States. Uh, yeah, everybody's jockeying for position back here. The one thing I want to do... For all you folks at home that haven't seen all the games, which are there are a ton of launch games, we're going to go ahead and roll a package to show you what those launch games look at right now. A lot of sports and racing games comprising more than 50% of the titles available at launch for PSP. Many of you non-sports fans may be wondering what you can play with your new Sony handheld. For all you action, RPG, or puzzle game fans, here's what you can look forward to at launch. Darkstalkers Chronicle The Chaos Tower is the first fighting game to appear on Sony's PSP and follows the same blueprint as its other iterations. Choose one of a variety of monster-themed characters and battle opponents one-on-one, -on -one, beating them into a pulp with standing, crouching, jumping, and special attacks. It's essentially a pixel-perfect port of the arcade Darkstalkers games and adds Wi-Fi multiplayer into the mix. Darkstalkers Chronicle is probably the best portable fighting game ever made. And not just because BB Hood is strapped. The Sony PSP would feel somehow incomplete without a new installment of the Dynasty Warriors franchise. The popular hack and slash franchise's first appearance on a portable focuses the gaming experience to the large-scale combat that's driven this series for years. If you're looking for an action game to play on your PSP in quick bursts, or you're a hardcore fan who wants to take one of your favorites with you on the go, Dynasty Warriors for the PSP will likely fit the bill. Luminous sits as one of the highest reviewed games of any PSP launch title with a 9.0. This ingeniously designed puzzle game from the creator of cult classics like Rez and Space Channel 5 will be one PSP game that you'll keep coming back to. In fact, between the beautiful presentation, the innovative gameplay, and the excellent single player and multiplayer modes, Luminous may very well be the greatest Tetris style puzzle game since Tetris itself. Spider-Man 2, unlike its movie counterpart, is a simple and short-lived experience. The variety and brisk pacing of each level is part of the reason you'll probably end up blowing through the game in no time. Although Spidey is equipped with a slew of attacks to defeat his foes, the game doesn't have the depth to exploit all of them. This isn't exactly the most overachieving action game around, but it's not a bad showcase of what the PSP can do. Metal Gear Acid represents the first major change of direction for the Metal Gear franchise, and it isn't so much stealth action as it is stealth card battling? Cards? Metal Gear Acid places less emphasis on shooting people in the head and more on making you consider your overall surroundings. If you're a Metal Gear fan and you're put off by the card battling concept, you should find it easy to get in the game with a seamless tutorial segment that's wrapped up in the introduction of the storyline. It's true that the Twisted Metal series has had its ups and downs during the past decade, but it's back in top form again for the launch of Sony's PSP. And while Twisted Metal head-on has been shrunk down to fit the PSP, it's lost none of its charm or its bite. A colorful cast of characters, exciting shooting action, and support for wireless multiplayer competition over the internet combine to make this game one of the safest bets when choosing your first PSP games. Untold Legends Brotherhood of the Blade is a dungeon-crawling action role-playing game for the PlayStation Portable. You roam around an assortment of varied environments using spells and weapons to singe and slash hordes of gruesome creatures. Sound familiar? Now imagine it with three other players fighting alongside you utilizing the Wi-Fi multiplayer component of the PSP. With well more than 100 levels to offer, Untold Legends Brotherhood of the Blade could be a must-have at launch.
So there you have it, a rundown of everything that's not sports or racing for the PSP. For more information on games soon to be released for the Sony PSP, check out GameSpot's Launch Center. God, I love that Jeff Gersman. Wish you were here with us tonight, pal. We got all kinds of stuff still filling up in here. I got another question from one of you guys back home. It says, uh, from Mo from Dearborn Heights, Michigan, he wants to know, will there be a need to convert MP3s to a certain format for the PSP, or can you just upload MP3s as is? Thanks. Mo, just to let you know, MP3, MP3s as is, boom, just dump them for your PC using a USB cable to your PSP, boom, you fill it up. Rich has got some action going outside, but Rich, before I go to you, I want to show this one quick clip before we hit midnight, talking about some of the EA Sports stuff that we talked to uh, one of the producers today. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Uh, my name is James McDermott, and I work for Electronic Arts as the worldwide product manager on the PSP launch range. This year for us was, uh, you know, kind of building a foundation, kind of figuring out what are the core things that we can deliver at launch which are going to make our games compelling. And we actually believed that online play was something that wasn't necessarily right for the first wave of titles. We decided to invest more in head-to-head, -head, two player Wi-Fi. Uh, the downloadable content is something very, very interesting about PSP and we're looking very, very carefully at that right now to figure out how we're going to maximize it, how we're going to give the best best offering to consumers because we don't want it to be a watered down downloadable experience. We want it to be compelling and additive to your gameplay. So we're actually looking at who we can partner to ensure that that is the most compelling experience possible. And you will see uh, announcements about that in the near future. So we've got three titles which are going to be there for launch day. So in the next couple of hours we'll have NFL Street 2 Unleashed. Uh, which will be on the shelves. We'll have Need for Speed Underground Rivals and we'll have Tiger Woods PGA Tour. Now these three titles totally tailored to the experience of the hardware platform which is the PSP. We have three more titles coming out in April, uh, three more sports titles. We've got NBA Street Showdown, we have uh, FIFA Soccer and we have MVP Baseball. So the next wave of EA titles will all be revealed at E3 really. That's going to be the, the platform for for saying this is where we're going uh, in the next year, this is where we're going to take PSP. We have loads of franchises we can dip into and everyone knows the portfolio that we have on console and we're looking to match that on, on the handheld platform. You know, we think it's a really exciting time for handheld devices and PSP. There's a revolution happening, uh, you know, in the kind of whole amalgamation of games, music, movies, the whole interactive experience, you know, that's what PSP is all about, it's games, movies and music and we've got all of that combined in our games. And we are back outside, Homer, what time does it say up on the clock right now? 10 minutes. 10 minutes and 10 seconds, I got here on my right, I got Greg and Bob, what are you guys playing right now? Playing some Tony Hawk. That's right. Tony Hawk indeed. Greg, you enjoying your Tony Hawk? I, I am. That's good. Thanks buddy. Oh, I'm sorry, I got my right here now. Pietro, how you doing, Pietro? Doing great, man. What number are you in line? Oh, man, let me get my stuff out. While you're doing that, Homer, get a shot of this dude's eyes real quick. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. What number are you? I'm number... Oh, shit, I can't even... Beep. Right, man. All right, let's go. Cool. I mean, oh, no, I can't even... Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. Where is it? 132. 132. I bet when you said... I was, I'm 132nd in line. There's no chance I'm going to get my hands on a PSP before I get inside the store. Actually, I did think that. And then the, one of the managers came out here. and he Why you got to steal my thing? Like that? Just take this PSP from me right now real quick. Wait, wait, this is mine? No, it's mine. Oh. The game can be yours right now if you play Tony Hawk against Bob. Like that? Just play it right now. Oh, that's no problem. Check this out. Watch me school this fool real quick. Man, Bob, Bob step on this. Now, Bob, have you played this game before? I, I haven't played it since Tony Hawk 2, but... Yeah, I'm going to go check out the ladies. Yeah. we got all kinds of craziness going on now. I'm looking at the clock. we got 8 minutes and 50 seconds till they sell the first PSP. Ryan, tell me what's going on inside. All right, it's starting to fill up in here. People are starting to muscle us out. I don't think they realize that we're live right now, but it's all right. It's all right, because we got all kinds of fun stuff going on. I'm going to have some more of your questions, but first we're going to take a look at the sports lineup. You might be asking why we didn't include the sports games in the regular lineup that we had a second ago. That's because there's so many at the launch, we decided to bust them out and make its own sports segment. So without further ado, let's check out the sports games. If you're one of the lucky ones getting a PSP bundle this week, chances are you pre-ordered a sports title to go along with it. After all, a huge portion of the games released in tandem with the Sony Portable are sports games. First up, we've got Tiger Woods PGA Tour a game that looks remarkably like its console cousins. With plenty of courses and PGA golf legends, 
Swing mechanics that will feel instantly familiar and that insanely fun creative golfer mode that's been such a hit on the Xbox, PS2, and GameCube, this may be the must-own sports game of the PSP bunch. Need for Speed Underground Rivals takes the street racing vibe of the revamped Need for Speed series and shrinks it down to handheld size. The game has wireless multiplayer options for up to two players and a sense of speed that translates well to the small screen. Finally, the same incessant advertising that was so annoying on the consoles is thankfully absent here. A number of new minigames are at the core of EA Sports Big's NFL Street 2 Unleashed. The minigames range from the sublime and popular, such as Crush the Carrier, to the ridiculous, such as the style standoff, which is essentially a dance competition. Yeah. Anywho, it's the only football game for the PSP so far, so it's got that going for it. Let's move on. You may not be able to guess from the title, but 989 Sports NBA is a basketball game. One that features an interesting color-coded shot mechanic and some really good-looking player models. Many games abound here in NBA, too, but sadly, the ability to engage Zadrunas Elgalskis in a break-off is missing. Oh well, there's always next year. Wayne Gretzky may have been out of the NHL for several years now, but his name keeps popping up in video games. Most recently, Gretzky NHL for the PSP. The game plays eerily similar to the PS2 game released just a few months ago, which, depending on how much you like that game, may not be such a good thing. Still, it's hockey, and for PSP puck fans missing the real NHL, that's all they need to know. Ridge Racer for PSP is the third Ridge Racer game launched with a Sony gaming system, and the same power sliding madness that has become a cornerstone of the series continues unabated here. The key to success in Ridge Racer? Avoiding the brakes as if you were barefoot and the brakes were covered in earwax. Everything else should be obvious. Wipeout Pure is one of our highest rated launch PSP games, nailing an 8.8 .8 for its combination of attractive visuals and visceral thrills. The game's neon-soaked environments are among the best found on the PSP and look great even on the smaller screen. World Tour Soccer is best experienced with a friend as the game's online play is fun, fast, and filled with scoring. A cool challenge mode bolsters a single-player game that may not be realistic, but moves at a fast pace and keeps the action and the shots on goal coming. Last, but certainly not least, we've got Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix a game that definitely recreates the console version on which it's based and adds a slew of new content just for good measure. As our review states, if you've stayed away from Tony Hawk for a while, Remix is a great opportunity to get reacquainted with a series that continues to innovate. So that's it, a quick sneak peek at all the sports titles available at launch for the PSP. And there's more good news. The sports titles will keep coming over the next few weeks with major releases from EA and 989 still ahead of us. For more information on all of these games, be sure to check out GameSpot Sports. It's almost, it's almost midnight. You can see everybody's kind of jockeying position with their cameras over here. Uh, they're all kind of lined up so they can get a shot of this guy that's going to be getting the first one. My hands are kind of full right now. I got this Luminous, I got this Ridge Racers, I got this Dynasty Wars, I got this 256. Uh, if you guys can tell me what color the sand disc 256 is, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, give one of those away to the first person that tells me what color the 256 sand disc is. So uh, if you want a memory stick pro duo, tell me what color it is, first person to send that in, boom, you get it. For Luminous, you tell me uh, what the first uh, title track is on Luminous, or tell me any of the tracks, give me a track name, full name and address on the spot page right now, GameSpot Complete members, we're going to do that. I'm trying to hang out and give you guys enough time to see this guy buy his first PSP. I don't know if that's going to happen. Hey Rich, can we check in with you real quick and see what's happening outside? And here we are right here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Pietro, how's this game, dude? Dude, this game rocks, man. Congratulations, man. You just got your own copy of it right here. Oh, I did? Take that case right there. Woo! Give me the PSP. Yo, man, this game rocks. I'm learning all kinds of new moves. Oh. Take that. Oh. That's yours. Congratulations. Thanks, man. It means a lot to me, man. Thank you. No problem. GameStop, man. Check it out. How about GameSpot? Yeah, man, GameSpot. That too, right? Bob, you holding on to that? Yo, we're going to run over here real quick. Homer, try to keep up with me. Jim, give me that bag. Yeah, we got all kinds of people waiting in line down here, and I only got three minutes and 30 seconds left. But I got all kinds of games right now I'm trying to give out to these people waiting in line. Where's my bag, Jim? Give me that bag. How's everyone doing out here? I need some noise. What number? I need, a, I need a person in line right now whose number ends in eight. Hold up your hand if your number ends in eight. Yo. All right. I saw the dude in the glasses back there, yo. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Chill. Everybody, chill. All right. Who, who's the, all right. 
I'm gonna give this dude a game right here because he's like 50 years older than everybody else. I'm gonna give the dude with the fro a game because he's crazy too. I'm doing this dude right here a game too. Ryan, we got two minutes and 35 seconds left. But I still got more games! I still got more games! I'm giving mom a game. Yo, respect mom. Mom gets a game. This dude's a mom here. What's your, what's your kid's name? Uh, uh, Damian! Congratulations. I got one last game. This girl right here is getting squished by everybody. I feel sorry for her. Yo, you back up. Oh, oh no. I'm keeping this one. These people are too crazy, Ryan. We got one minute and 55 seconds left. Going back to you. All right, we're back inside live, and I'm going to try to use the power of the live webcast to try to get ourselves a little tunnel so we can see what's going on here. My man, uh, Roger, you just kind of fall back. I'm going to bump into these people. Let's see. Let's see if this guy. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Excuse me. Uh, you can see there's a heck of people in here. There's all kinds of people in here, and uh, it's crazy. What do you guys think? Pretty gosh darn good. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The reason why it's a little darker in here is because the folks over there that are shooting this way, trying to get the shot of the guy behind the first PSP, they, they don't like our light so much. So we got to try to keep it on the down low, if you know what I'm saying. So without further ado, Rich, uh, we've got people all crazy lined up. Jack Trenton is standing by, ready to shoot, uh, ready to sell the first PSP. Uh, any second now, I think it's going to happen. So I'm counting out. What's that clock say out there, Rich? on the way out. A minute and six seconds. A minute and six seconds we've got. That is crazy. We got a minute and six seconds. Well, let's just hang out. Let's see. We've got some more questions for Gatespot complete users. Oh, wait. I think it's happening right now. Oh, yeah. They're coming in. All right, I'm going to try to get over there and see you uh, getting this guy. I'm going to see about sneaking in there. Hopefully you guys are checking this out. This is the first PSP being sold right here in North America. We were there live December 18th in Japan when they released the PSP. We got to see that action. There you go. There's the PSP. Oh, they're counting it down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. It's midnight, folks. PSP officially. Here comes the first, the first guy. There's his money. He's getting it. I'm kind of sucked into the crowd here. He's looking pretty excited. That's right, buddy. What's up? He got a, I think he got a copy of Ridge Racers from us earlier. Check us out. You want another thing? Check us out. Afterwards, come get this. A little 512. All right, I'm going to sneak over here and see if I can't get back in front of the camera. What's up, Roger? How you doing? So that's it right there, folks. You got to see it right there. Jack Trent, he's giving it away. I think, oh, yeah. We're going to see if we can't steal that guy for a second. Talk to him. Rich, how's it going outside? Oh, Ryan, dude, that was so intense for all those people. I can't afford. People are going to get hurt unless I give these two memory sticks away to people at home. I got a 128. I got a 256. Ryan, you asked a question before. What color are these memory sticks right now? You tell me, I'm going to give them to you. I go over there again, I'm going to get bit up. I'm going to take one moment right now. The clock hit midnight, of course. We all know what that means. It's Tim Tracy's birthday. Happy birthday, Tim. Wish you could be here with all the madness. Ryan, you're where the action is now, though. I only got crazy people. You got the actual business. Let's kick it back to you. All right, let's turn that light back on. I think it's time. I think they're ready. All right, they're mobbing him over there. They're going to try to get the first interview. Sony folks want to get up in there. We're going to steal him because I showed him that we're going to give him a 512. A 512, ladies and gentlemen. 512 Membership Pro Duo, which, uh, if you don't know, in a PSP, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can have like about 30 songs and like an episode of Lost or an episode of Justice League or two. Uh, yeah, 512 gets you a lot of mileage as well as all the, the game saves and everything else. So let's see if we can't steal him away as soon as he gets done. I'm going to actually sneak through the crowd here. I don't know if my man Roger's going to be able to follow me. I'm going to try to get him. I know they only want to talk to him for like a second or two. I'm going to stick my mic in there. Oh, sorry about that. What's up? Hey, Ryan Bolin, how you doing, man? Good, good. So they solved the first one. What do you think? 
So that's awesome. And here's his buddy, too, who's coming in now. They've been here since 8 a.m. yesterday. 8 a.m. yesterday. That's dedication. That's dedication. Yeah. So we're going to steal this guy afterwards, right? Yeah, I wanna, sure. I want to hand him this 512 I got right here. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, so the one question I have for you is Roger tries to get a shot amongst all the crowd over here. Oh, is uh, Yeah, so how does it compare? You've been at Sony for quite a while now, PS2 launch. I was here five years ago, five standing years ago. right here. What yeah. do you think? Same excitement. It's always exciting to launch a product, you know, and, and to see all the fans come out here, you guys. It's, it's, it's. Right on, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. We'll, be, we'll be waiting right over here, so if you could help bring them over, I'd appreciate okay. it. Thank all you, right. buddy. We're right over there where Roger's got that light on. Right. Thanks a lot, Ryan. All right, so we got that guy coming over here. Hey, Rich, uh, it's going to be a minute or two before we get to talk to the guy that bought the first one. What do you got going on out there? Right, I got absolutely nothing going on right now but a whole bunch of GameSpot editors. If I could be joined by the fellas right now, Brian, Bob, Greg, Ricardo. Ricardo wanted to be on camera. Thanks a lot, guys. Come on out, man. We're live right now. Now, all you guys, we've been following the PSP for quite some time right now. Starting with Ricardo. What are your reactions to seeing all these people out here? What are they going to think when they get their hands on the PSP? It's weird because we saw it in Japan, and we didn't know if America was going to get this crazy, but they did. <laughs> And I think they're going to be really happy. They're not going to believe what they're going to see. Cool. Greg, thanks a lot for your help in the crowd control back there, man, the game of Luminous. Would you, can you pick a favorite PSP game yet, or is it too early? I mean, uh, I, I really do like Luminous. That's the one that I keep coming back to. It's just, it's just a really neat game, and it's, it's great to be able to play it on, on that big old screen, and just everything about it is, is really nice. So. Now, can that game be played over the internet, or is that just straight up sitting next to someone? It's sitting next to someone, but there, I guess there are some kind of tricky ways that you could get some of the other stuff to work over the internet. But How about for a 4 o'clock show tomorrow? Would you be willing to play some Twisted Metal against some of our viewers? I, I would indeed, yes. All right, cool. You heard it here first tomorrow, Thursday, 4 o'clock Pacific time. Greg Simon's going to be in the studio playing Twisted Metal against people. We'll get Jeff in there, too. It'll be a good time. Sure. All right, cool. Bob and Brian, Features in Sports. That was a nice little piece you put out there. Can you do a little NFL Blitz dance for us? Yeah, uh, sports games are, it's all about sports games on the PSP. Like, uh, the majority of the games that are coming out for sports, uh, for the PSP, are sports games. It's amazing. It just goes to show you that sports games are really uh, at the, probably the height of their popularity, popularity right now, and the PSP's pop on sports for sure. That's great, except I asked you to do an NFL Blitz dance. Or what's it called? NFL Street Dance. Uh, me and Bob will do one. All right, cool. Bo Bob, I want, yeah, he said you would do it. I want to see that. I want to see the NFL street dance right now. I got to do an NFL street dance. I want the NFL street dance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. NFL street is, it looks like a fun game. It's got this kind of whack dance contest in it. We make fun of it all the time. Ryan, as you can see, we're kind of drained out here. What you got going on? I'm standing here with the guy that's the second guy that bought a PSP. The first guy's still getting mauled by most of the media. So what's your name? It's Jossel. Hey, Jossel. How you doing? So where are you from, man? I'm from Daly City. Right on. So uh, how long have you been waiting out there? Uh, about the same time as him, about 42 hours. 42 hours. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Well, for all your hard hard work and, and uh, waiting for that long, here's a copy of Dynasty Wars from GameSpot to you. Cool. Do you, uh, do you ever check out our, our webcast and the site? Yeah. Right yeah. on. Dope. So how do you feel? You got your first PSP. I bet you want to bust it out and start playing it, yeah, huh? Hell yeah. In the next 10 hours, I'm just going to be playing this all night long. Right on, man. Get home, plug it in, charge it up, get going. Thank yeah. you so much. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks. Appreciate it. So there you go. The first, the second guy, anyways, that bought the PSP. We got, we're going to see about waiting to hear from the first guy, but uh, right now, as you can see, it's going all kinds of crazy. My man, Tim Surrett, standing on that cable back there. But other than that, I think uh, it's just, yeah, it's just getting mobby in here. There's just so many people, it's getting crazy. Uh, but uh, Rich, what do you got out for me outside? Ryan, stop coming back to me, dude. I really got nothing left. We got the 200 people. They've gone by. They've picked all my pockets. I think I lost my wallet, my girlfriend's cell phone. Uh, I still got the editors, though. They're a good crowd. There's no more clock. I hear the Golden State Warriors in the house, which is very cool. We're going to try again to hold some of them. No promises. Ryan, I don't know if you have anything back where you are. I would go back to talk to people in the crowd, but seriously. I'm Twisted Metal right now. Oh, you want to try playing some Twisted Metal? All right. Greg's going to fire up Twisted Metal right now. So if you're a GameSpot Complete member, look for Greg. He's going to try finding you online to play Twisted Metal against you. It's going to take a few minutes. Anything? They always come prepared, right? You've got to have your copy of Twisted Metal and your PSP just in your pocket along and right. You got it. I have two in my other pants, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, all kinds of craziness out here, Ryan. Is the show over yet? Seriously, I want to go home and play my PSP. What you got going on? I got, I got still waiting for this dude. So, uh, so yeah, so we're going to wait a little bit longer and see how that goes. But right now I got... 
I got nothing but 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 action in here. Let's see if I got anybody over here. I got my man Dean Takahashi over here. What's up, Dean? How you doing? Pretty good. You were for the San Jose Mercury News still, right? Uh, that's right. That's yeah. awesome. So what do you think about this? If you don't mind buttoning in, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good? Lots of craziness. You and some happy people here. Some happy people? Yeah. Are you going to be getting in line after you take your news report? Uh, I've got a demo unit, so oh. I'm, uh, I'm happy already. Oh, I see. Right on. Excellent. Thank you for taking the time. But, uh, yeah, so once again, we're almost wrapping up here. Tim Surrett, you got any final words for us on the PSP launch? Awesome. Awesome? Final um, word. That final was word. it. One that, word. That's a good one. Awesome is always good. Uh, we're still waiting for our, our guy to get over here. I think he's coming. I got a 512. I'm waving, and hopefully he's going to see it and want to come over and grab it. And, uh, yeah, I saw him look over this way, so he's going to come over here again. But in the meantime, for you folks at home, I'm sorry to get to all your questions, but tune in tomorrow, Thursday, 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. We'll be going live again, of course, like every Thursday on, on the spot. Me and Rich are going to be kicking it. We're going to try to take it a little light tomorrow since we were out so late tonight. We'll be packing up for a while. So tomorrow's show is going to be a little bit of a recap of what we're doing here tonight. Taking more questions, hopefully giving more away, more prizes. So uh, definitely want to tune in tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, so as we continue to wait for this gentleman over here, which I think he's coming, I swear. Uh, let's go ahead. Hey, Rich, can I check in with you? You still got some action out there or what? Ryan, I'm standing right in front of a limousine right now. And if you think there's perks to waiting for 40 hours in line, getting the body odor up, skipping meals, having to cut into Denny's to use the bathroom, it's sitting right back there. I don't know where that limousine's taking that guy, but I'm going to try hitching a ride because it is totally way past my bedtime. And if you look around me, I don't know if the lights are picking it up or not. It's definitely starting to rain. The last three days here, it was dumping on San Francisco. And we took this as a nice sign when the skies cleared up, you know, for the PSP launch party. Plenty of people in line. All kinds of nice weather for all these people who are going to wait. As you can tell, the PSPs are starting to get sold. It's starting to rain on me. I don't like getting wet. I'm not going to sound like a prima donna or anything, but I'm definitely running out of steam. Anyone in the crowd here got anything to say? No? All right, cool. Ryan, I hope this is the last time you're going to come to me, so I'd like to thank everyone in the crew out who helped me out. Brian, Bob, Jim, Homer, Dave Snyder of MP3, Greg, Craig, Adam Buchan, Scott Bedard, Ricardo Torres, Amy Lau for bringing the water. Uh, I'm losing my voice, dude. Tell me, just seriously, drop a shoulder and find this dude for us so he can get out of here. Ryan. So, yeah, I got this, homie. Check us out. I got some Golden State Warriors up in here buying some PSPs. I'm going to see if I can't steal them for a second. Uh, let's see if I can sneak over here. So I think I think these are the guys over here. Excuse me, sir. How's it going? Pretty good. How you doing? What's your name? Kevin. Kevin? How you doing, Kevin? I'm cool. I'm cool so what are, you, what are you doing here tonight? Buying a PSP? You know I'm buying a PSP, man. Yeah? That's what I'm here to do, man. 16 hours. So, so uh, are you here with a buddy? No, I'm by myself. Right on. Yep. So how long did you wait? 16 hours. Man. 16 hours. What, you think it's worth it? You know what? I'm going to go home turn it on, and hopefully it will be. <laughs> All right on. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm still hunting around for our friends over here. I see uh, the Golden State Warrior guy over there, but uh, it's, it's a madhouse in here, Rich. It's a madhouse, as you can see it. It's all kinds of craziness. Uh, the one thing I'd like to do is I'd like to give this guy. Here he comes right now. Finally. We got the man. What's up, buddy? Oh, How man. you doing? I'm, I'm happy, and I'm depressed because it's over, but... There's also a sigh of relief because I have it. I made it. 42 hours later, I got it. What's going to be the first game you go home and play? Um, the first game I'm going to play is the one I won for you guys. Um, um, or actually, I'll probably end up playing uh, Twisted Metal first. Right, on, Twisted Metal is dope. I can tell you that. Oh, yeah. I want to hook you up with something. A little 512 right, Memory Stick Pro you. Duo. That's right going to serve you up well. You can put all kinds of stuff on there. Right, uh, did Rich tell you that we got PSP formatted movies ready to go on the site? So you can go to GameSpot.com, oh, wow. okay. download that stuff, put it right on there. I'm, I'm going to do that as soon as I'm done playing with these games. Right on. I'll let you get home. I'm sure you're tired, man. Yeah, but um, the excitement will keep me up for a few more hours. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Right. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you so much. There's the gentleman. I think uh, Tim Charette's going to steal you for some more questions. But, uh, yeah, that's about it from here. I think I'm going to send it home if you don't mind, Rich. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about here, here from the Metreon here in San Francisco, California. Once again, PSP launch. You saw it here, folks. Only place we had it live, GameSpot Live. So until tomorrow, every Thursday, 4 o'clock live, please be sure to check us out. Until then, I'm Ryan McDonald for Rich. Dave, Tyler, Roger, the whole crew, Homer, everybody, Ricardo for getting us all these great stuff, for everybody helping out. Thank you so much. Until tomorrow, we'll see you, we'll see you then. Thanks a lot for joining us. Have a good night.